Good morning. So, <clears throat> my uh, camera hasn't been working right off and on, and it didn't work as I swapped out these two uh, oil pressure sensors, but I just wanted to, you to see where they're located. Obviously, the intake would be right here, so I did them before I put the intake back on. Here's a one-wire sensor. This is for the uh, gauge in the car. This will tell you your pressure on the gauge. Here's the two-wire sensor. This will turn on the fuel pump once you get oil pressure. They're both off of the same stem right behind the intake. The intake would be right, right across here. Um, and then the third oil sensor is down here by the um, fuel filter. And that's it right there. It, um, it, that's the one that does the uh, uh, temperature. So when you put your gauge set on the temperature, uh, that's what will tell you the temperature. This one will tell you the pressure and then that uh, third one uh, turns the fuel pump on and off. So just something I wanted to go over real quick before I put the intake back on and they can really hardly see them. All right, YouTube, have a great day. All right, today we're going to uh, uh, just talk a little bit about the uh, coolant sensors and their location. So, uh, the first one we have here is, uh, we always called it an umbrella style fitting. Uh, so that, that goes over here on the passenger side head down in this location. So, <clears throat> That, I'm not gonna, I don't have any uh, pipe dope on here yet, so I'm gonna just screw that in by hand. So that's, here's your passenger side, right? So that is for your cooling fans, okay? And that's on the passenger side head. Um, the next one we have is, um, Oh, this is the uh, uh, the one for the uh, driver's side cylinder head. All right, and so that one would go right there. So the last one we have this is a uh, this is the one for the ECM. This is the one that tells the uh, the temperature uh, to the ECM to control fuel. And that, sorry, I get my hands all through here. And that is gonna go right in the front of the intake manifold. All right, so that's our three gauges. Now, I will say on the um, on this temperature gauge now on the 84 it didn't originally come with this style connector uh, it came with the umbrella style that was like this um, this guy over here for the uh, cooling fans except for the cooling fan was an umbrella style with one wire the ECM one was an umbrella style with two wires. However, you can no longer get it. So you have to retrofit your wiring harness, put a new connector on there so that you can um, uh, exchange it for the newer style. So three coolant temp sensors on this thing. We have the one for the ECM that controls fuel that's in the front of the intake manifold. Right, your air, con air, air compressor would be right here, water pumps right here, air pump right in here. Uh, right side head, right, the right side head would uh, control the cooling fan and that is a one wire umbrella seal. And then if we run over to the driver's side, the driver's side, is also a one wire uh, pigtail 
and this would be for your um, for your gauge set, right? So three coolant temp sensors, right, uh, on a 84 uh, Crossfire car, and